Just in is this 1965 Ford Red Mustang Coupe. It's powered by what I believe to be its original 289 two barrel. Backed up by its original C4 automatic transmission. The engine compartment is painted very nice and has a beautiful shine on it. As we look up and down the sides, it's got a beautiful stance. Front bumper and grill are in good shape, but are not new. It's got a couple little scuffs here on the bumper. Front fender's perfect. No chips, no blisters. Door's in excellent shape as well. No blisters or chips. Rocker panel's perfect. Rear quarter's in great shape. Don't see any blisters anywhere on the passenger side. The paint around the roof and back windows in excellent shape. As far as the interior goes, the interior to me seems 100% original. And really the interior is in great shape for original. The carpet I know is original. You can see a little fade and a little fuzz over on the uh, by the shift indicator. Seats are in good shape. It's been very well taken care of. Headliner also is in great shape. You can see it's a little stained, but original. The paint looks great all the way up and down the side. Back bumper is in great shape. Tail lights look good. There's no imperfections anywhere on the trunk lid as well. That's very nice and straight. This car still has its original two barrel carburetor and original single exhaust. Tires are in great shape and it has the wire wheels. Paint on the rear quarter on the driver's side is excellent. No blisters on the rocker, fender, or door. Very, very solid original car. This car is clean enough you could go to any local car show and be real proud of it. it. Does have its factory door tag. This car came from the factory as a turquoise car with a white interior. The white interior is all original. Came with the automatic transmission and a 2.8 rear end ratio. Driver's side door panel as well is in great shape. Driver's side seat cover showing some wear right here on the cord and right here in the very front. But just a little bit of that shows me that the miles are probably right at 54,948. I'm guessing by the uh, looks of the interior it's not 154,000, but I can't be sure. Has its factory uh, AM radio. The temp gauge works. Fuel gauge works. The horn is not working. Amp gauge, oil pressure gauge work. They're aftermarket. Car is carrying about 64 pounds of oil pressure. I know the original radio works. I just got to find a station here. Worked yesterday.
Now it worked yesterday, so I'm sure that's nothing, not a hard fix. I kind of mentioned earlier, um, we spray dyed the carpet when it came in, re-dyed it, but uh, the carpet is the original carpet. This little Mustang idles great, runs excellent. Rear windows go up and down nice. I drove it yesterday and I was very impressed with uh, the amount of wind noise and stuff that was coming in. It was very quiet inside. The heater fan works as well. Shocks feel fine, don't bottom out or anything. This Mustang has manual steering and manual brakes, but the steering is excellent. It does not need an alignment. It's very nice and tight. Another thing, the floors, frame, and trunk are all very solid. You can kind of see that in the undercarriage pictures. Two eighty nine two barrel still squeal the tires. Speedometer works good. Kick down, kicks down about fifty eight miles per hour. Goes straight down the road. Like I was saying earlier, it's very quiet inside the car. The windows seal up really nice and tight. Just a great driving Mustang coupe. Um, it does have a little chip in the windshield. You can kind of see that over the, towards the antenna. Um, just a small little bullseye in the windshield. But it goes right down the road just as fast as you want it to go. I definitely don't think it needs a four barrel. It runs excellent with the two barrel on it. Got a great idle too. I'm kind of bummed out about the radio. It worked perfect yesterday. 